Yo, what's going on guys? I am Joe Alvarez and welcome back. Today, let's talk about my cheating ways. I've been continuing to use Bitwig as a hybrid to my Logic. So, I've been using Logic for a long time, never will stop using Logic, but lately, the past three, four months or so, I've been using Bitwig a little more. I'm still a noob at it, hence why I don't really make a lot of videos on Bitwig just yet, because I feel like in order to really teach something, you should probably have a certain level of math mastery so i'm here as a guy who made my first beat on bitwig after three months i've been playing in the range of view just trying to get a feel for it and trying to learn the effects and trying to learn all this stuff but i finally made my first beat and here are the top five things that i really enjoyed while working in the clip launcher viewer mode the first thing i like is going to be super petty but it's something that i wish logic would have done and they haven't it's basically being able to have a shortcut to loop a certain region i know in logic you press c once you basically bring your in and your out points for the cycle they call it on what you want to loop but they have no shortcut where not as far as i know and i researched it and i couldn't find it where you select the region you press a shortcut like in this particular case in bitwig if you press command l it's gonna whatever region that you selected it's gonna just loop it so let me show you what i mean so in this particular case let's say if i just wanted to just loop this instead of having to come up here and play with the in and the out of where i wanted to loop i just simply press command l and then bitwig goes okay so you just want to loop this part so i love the fact that i can just press command l and just whatever reason i click it's just there if i want to even just loop that command l does it for me i mean it's very logical in that sense where it just makes sense like command l to loop so that's probably my number one most petty reason that i like bitwig when i'm working in this particular view which i believe they call it if i look up over here i believe they call that the show clip launcher or show a range of timeline so i'm guessing that goes away so this is the range of timeline and this is the clip launcher so anyway i love the fact that you can just do that on the fly it makes it really simple makes the workflow just go really insanely fast and that's what i like when i'm in the moment when i'm producing something i just want to move or even when i'm mixing i just want to move and not think about too many of the things that i need to do within the daw the second thing i really 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 love and i i admit i'm still very much an amateur at using it but it's the multi-stage envelope generator msig for short i always want to say msg because i grew up in new york city madison square garden is the mecca of all sports I really love the fact that MSEG just makes it really awesome to create and just expands the ability to take a dull sound and just make it awesome. In this particular case, I had the sample playing really throughout the whole beat and I wanted to change it up. So I'm like, how do I change this up within the second half of the beat? And I don't really, I really didn't have a lot to work with with the sample, but I brought up an MSEG curve which I'm going to show you right now. And it just made the sound just sound way more interesting on the second half of the beat. So let me show you what I mean. So this string chop right here is just basically playing for eight bars, but I didn't want to play it for the rest of the eight bars until it goes to the hook. So it sounds like this without the multiple stage envelope generator. So it's a cool sample, but as you can hear, if that just keeps looping over and over and over again, eventually it's gonna get boring and you're not gonna be as interested. So in this particular case, I said, you know what? Let me play with Curves, which is one of the new MSEG generators. And it just made the sound sound like this and way more interesting. So it goes from this part to this part over here. really basic but it brings a whole new interest to that sample and it's really simple what i did only thing i did here was on the drum machine that i'm using 
the RX 1200, all you got to do is click over here, press the plus sign, type in curves, click on that, and then you have this over here. All I did was, I think I just created a little weird pattern or use the basic sequence number one pattern if you click over here in the folder and then click on this little tool right here and they just drag it to the volume and it's going to modulate the volume according to this curve and it just sounds really awesome and then number three is how seamlessly you can go from a range of view to clip launcher view I used Ableton a couple months back just to try it out. I tried the, the, the trial version of it. And to me, the arranger view and I guess they call it the session view in Ableton didn't seem really integrated. It seems like it's cool to DJ and think of things on the fly, but it felt very disconnected from when you actually want to arrange a track from start to, to finish. So one of the things I mean here is if I just want to click over here and just start dragging stuff over here to just think of different arrangements on the fly I can I can just click and drag until my heart's content and just try different ideas so if I press scene one oh that sounds cool but maybe I need to start it out with a snare and then we'll go here to scene two So it just lends itself to just great variations. And just like I click this out from the clip launcher to the arranger view, I can go the opposite way as well. So I can go, you know what? I like this idea here. I'm going to just keep this, put it over here, put it up there. And just basically I have a whole separate sequence that if I come back here, then I have a whole different idea than if I get stuck kind of in the loop over here. So it allows me to play with different ideas really quick and can do some things on the left side that I can't do on the right and the right side that I can't do on the left and vice versa. And the way they integrate that is just genius because it just makes a whole lot of sense. And then my personal favorite is how they integrate the mixer with everything. One of the things I didn't like about Ableton was the mixer seemed very distant than the actual session view or whatever they call it. And you couldn't see certain parameters that I felt like you should be able to see or I couldn't find them and it wasn't that intuitive to find. So what I mean is if you come over here, I press tab to bring up the mixer view, I can come down here. At first you won't see the inserts. And when I first saw that, I was like, oh man, I can only see the, the arranger clips that I have there, but I don't really want to see that. So it looks like this instead. I'm like, okay, that's important, but I don't sometimes want to see that when I'm mixing. So I have the ability to hide that. And if I come down here, I can see all my inserts. Now, to me, this is where it draws the line and really integrates the best of all worlds. It takes what Ableton does really good and integrates it into Bitwig in a very seamless fashion. And, and to my opinion, it, it seems like it does a lot of things better, but I don't know Ableton that well. It also takes the traditional view of the mixer where the Cubases of the world, the Studio Ones, the Logic, where you can integrate the inserts right there. You don't have to reach somewhere else to see all this stuff. It just happens right there on the fly and it allows you to see that. So you can take all that live view settings and integrate it as well as the mixer settings. So you can just see everything all in one screen and you don't have to keep going back and forth. I also love the fact that you can see like the meters right here too. You just click over here, you see the meters, you see a whole bunch of other parameters that it just integrates really, really well. And it just, it's just really seamless and really nice. So I won't lie, when I first saw the fact that you can not see the inserts, that sold me. So I went from the trial version and I immediately, when I saw the inserts and being able to put that in the mixer view, it was a no brainer. Cause at first I thought you can only see it the way you do in Ableton, which to me, I felt like it's not very intuitive, at least for my preference. 
But when I saw that you can do everything right here without leaving this screen, I was like, you know what? I got to get this. I got to learn this software. It seems like this is very innovative and it's going to make a big splash. It has made a big splash and it's going to continue to make a big, a big splash. So I just want to know the software. And then number five is the plugins just sound great. The instruments here just sound great. And not only that, a lot of the instruments are tweakable as heck and you can go as deep as you want with synthesis and arranging new sounds and designing new sounds or just having really good sounds right out the box. So to me, the integration is really seamless. So I just say, you know what? I want something on this kick. I'll press D to bring up my effects rack. I say, you know what? I want, well, actually this is, a, I lied. So I have, I have five that I really love, but number six is this view right here. Being able to go, you know what? I want, my standard clipper cool it would just come right here it gives me a chance to preview it without even saying okay but let's say you know what i don't want that i want a filter so everything will filter just comes right here and you can see all the stuff will filter on it bam you're done and then you can also arrange it you can browse by instrument you can browse by audio effects note effects plugins uh, my library and everything else so to me that integration of how easily and fast i can launch plugins by just typing instead of scrolling and again this is a little petty because logic i know the next update they're gonna for sure have to implement something like this because the days of just scrolling by window to another window to another window, those days are gone. And I think all the DAWs now are doing something like this, where you just type in, hey, I want an L1 or I want a filter, I want whatever, and it just shows up. So those are my top five things that I really loved in making really my first beat. This is, I've been playing with the, the scenes and, and playing with the clips trying to get a feel for how things work but i haven't made a beat yet in bitwig anyway guys let me know what you guys think about bitwig 5 i think it's a beast i appreciate you guys for watching make sure you check that affiliate link to get some of those discounts on your plugins i do get a very small percentage but as always my reviews are my reviews i don't get paid to say anything good or anything bad if you like this video please leave that like please leave that subscription it's helping out the algorithm tremendously and i appreciate you guys for watching peace